All right, we're going to take you back in time now. The year was 1914. And no, Rebecca, I don't remember it personally. <laughs> yeah. The sure. Rockettes debuted on Radio City Music Hall. Babe Ruth took to the field for his first professional baseball game. And Charlie Chaplin introduced us to his most famous character. And there was another important debut by Marlo Thomas of Anchorage. Channel 2's Marty Glazer gives us an inside look into uh, the key to his happiness and longevity. What was that like? What was it like? To be a radio man on the Kayama. Well, it was um, pretty, pretty nice. He may not remember as well as he once did. They're your shipmates, right? Yes, they must have been in the, in the radio shack. And his legs don't work quite like they used to. I wouldn't be able to play in a symphony orchestra because I couldn't get around. You That's know? okay, we like to hear you. But just days short of his 100th birthday, here's your violin. Do you want hand Marlo Thomas his on? violin. The, the violin sounds good. Thomas has been playing since the mid 20s, a time when Louis Armstrong was one of the best known musicians of the era. Has, um, has, um, yeah, that's the state song, isn't it? Da 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 da. It's always good to have some something to play somewhere. For this veteran who's lived through both world wars, music has been his saving grace. Especially when the love of his life and soulmate. His wife, Lois Jean, passed away in 2001. And my mother also played the violin. And um, so he started practicing Lois Jean's violin um, in, an, in, an, in an attempt to connect with Lois Jean. And I truly believe that that worked and that helped him pull through this difficult time. It was around that same time he also started singing. Dee -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. He sings and he hums and uh, very happy songs and happy tunes to, to keep himself to keep himself up. In fact, he even had nice things to say after this performance. This is you, my first time ever playing the violin. A, you've got a good, a good uh, introduction. He thought of the positive thing to say instead of not so good. Do you have a tune that, that you'd like to, you'd like to, me to play? He taught us all um, kindness, compassion, um, patience, and um, just uh, the, the, the virtues of um, <laughs> of persistence and knowing what your goals are and, and never giving up. He may not remember his age. Karen always puts me in the 100, 100 class, you know, but, I, but I've got a couple of years before I get to be 100 years old. After all, it's just a number. Fine. Yeah, you'll really like that. Yeah. But as he yeah. nears the century mark, yeah. he continues to okay. brighten the lives of everyone around him. Okay, well, Thanks for coming. Okay, I love you, Dad. I love you, too. Marty Glazer, Channel 2 News. Oh, oh what a wonderful so story. Yes. And Thomas performed in the Anchorage Symphony, Symphony for 35 years tomorrow from 10 to noon. He'll receive his own performance by the symphony members at Hearts and Hands Adult Daycare. It's the kickoff to a week of birthday celebrations. What a wonderful story. That is so sweet. I teared up a little bit. I know. <laughs> Marty meets the nicest and most she interesting really people in those segments. really does. I love it. Good, Good job, Mr. Marty. <laughs> All right.